Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. To book a private session with me, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. Okay, let's start with the recent past. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past when it comes to Taurus. Talk to me about the recent past. Talk to me about the recent past. What's going on in the recent past, please? Talk to me about the recent past for Taurus. Talk to me about the recent past. All right, so we have the Page of Wands energy. This is communication, your desire to communicate, someone else's desire. You probably found something out. This is information coming in. This is the need for an explanation. I just feel someone's reaching out or you reached out to someone for clarity. Tell me more. Spirit, talk to me about the recent past for Taurus. Talk to me about the recent past when it comes to the sign of Taurus, please. Talk to me about the recent past. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups here in reverse. You feel like something is not going your way. There was a different way of handling the situation. I feel like someone is avoiding the truth here. I feel that someone does not want to see the reality of the situation. And because of that, wishes are going unfulfilled. That could be either you or the person that you're dealing with. Tell me more about the recent past. Tell me more about the recent past for Taurus. All right, judgment. There's one of you that wants to revitalize the connection or bring things back to what they used to be. There seems to be some type of power struggle here. I'm not sure if it's you or the other person that you're dealing with. So far on the table, we have Pisces energy, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Tell me more about the recent past for Taurus. Talk to me about the recent past. Scorpio energy with the death card. So something continues to feel like it's not going anywhere, all right? But I feel like this transformative energy was necessary, okay? Someone needs to start having a different perspective. And it's right now you're starting to see someone for who they really are. And so, cliche believe them right when they show you who they are believe them and that's happening right now okay so let's take a look at the present all right spirit please talk to me about the present we have this knight of pentacles energy all right so something is happening but very slowly talk to me about the knight of pentacles energy for taurus all right, we have the King of Swords. It's like you're cautiously trying to approach a situation. You don't want things to go the wrong way, but I also feel this energy of you kind of giving up on a person, a connection, a situation. You feel like there's something that has stopped. All right, that's what I'm getting here. Uh, primarily with the communication, something went wrong there. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Tell me more here about the present. Talk to me about the present for Taurus. We have this Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Two of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I see that you're really in your feelings about something, Taurus, okay? Just continue to occupy yourself with your goals, your hobbies, keep writing, keep journaling. This is the perfect time to create music, work out, you know, get back into your health regimen. Make this time all about you. Try your best to not think about the situation that's triggering you, that has you in this kind of melancholy type of energy, right? 
Let's see what else we have here. Talk to me about the present for Taurus. Temperance, all right? So your angels are with you. You are protected. Your ancestors are present. Speak to them more often. They're going to help you through this process. This is also the ability for you to have patience at this time, okay? Because right now it needs to be all about you and nobody else. When we suddenly are apart from someone that we really want to be connected to, that means that we need to put the focus on ourselves, okay? And if you don't want to do it, trust me, the higher power will find a way to, you know, keep you from thinking negatively. And if the higher source has to take someone away for you to put the concentration back on yourself, then that's what God is going to do, okay? Now, talk to me about the future. Spirit, please talk to me about the future when it comes to Taurus. We have this Capricorn energy showing up here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone that has Capricorn in their chart. Talk to me about this Capricorn energy in the future. For Taurus, please, talk to me about this Capricorn energy. Why do we have Capricorn energy here in the future? The Page of Cups in reverse. Tell me more. And then we have this Seven of Wands. And I know that this energy has been like this for a while and you're looking for something to be hopeful for. But again, there's something that you will be overcoming whatever this is okay don't think that it's going to stay like this forever you know january 20th is going to be a very important day for a lot of us as we go into this healing energy we're going to be leaving capricorn season and things are going to be very transformative for all of us you know i know that you want a better energy but i can't lie you know what I mean? I can only give you the cards that are coming out here, but at least we're processing this together, okay? So let's ask some more questions. I'm gonna take the cards back. Let's take a look at love, all right? Spirit, please talk to me about love when it comes to Taurus. Talk to me about love. Talk to me about love when it comes to Taurus, please. The chariot with cancer energy. So a lot of you guys are just ready to move past something. Okay. Talk to me about love for Taurus. What's coming in for love? What's coming in for love for Taurus, please? What do you have? For a lot of you, it's not over with someone that you already know. We had the Six of Cups earlier upside down, but now we have it in the upright. So I feel like things are going to heal with you and a certain person that you probably already know with the Six of Cups energy, all right? Tell me more about love. Why do we have this Six of Cups here? For Taurus, please. Why do we have the Six of Cups energy here for Taurus? Yeah, I feel like, again, just because there's no communication or something is off right now, it doesn't mean that someone's not thinking about you, okay? Two of Wands, you know, this person, they're focused on the earth. You see that? Your earth energy. I feel like they're waiting for something, waiting for the right time. Let me take a look at what they're waiting on. Spirit, please talk to me about the Two of Wands energy for love. They're waiting to make their move is what I'm getting here. Tell me more. Tell me more. I feel like they're under pressure. It's like you're putting the pressure on them. Not by what you're saying to them, your energy. They feel it. They feel it because I feel it. Talk to me about this Two of Wands. What are they waiting on? Spirit, what is this person waiting on? 
What is this person waiting on? They're waiting on the Nine of Cups in reverse. So they're waiting on something that they feel like they can't have. Why do they feel like they can't have you? You know, they feel like they want to connect with you, but for some reason, they feel like they can't. So why do they feel like they can't then? Talk to me about the Nine of Cups in reverse. Why do they feel like they can't? For Taurus. The Nine of Wands energy. They're bothered by something here, but they still want you. Six of Cups. They're waiting, but it's almost as if to them, it feels like it's unattainable for some reason. Tell me more. Talk to me. Tell me more, please. What's the outcome here? Well, the outcome is the star with the tower, okay? Aquarius energy with Scorpio energy. Major, major transformative energy here, okay? So let's clarify the tower because I know that a lot of you guys want to know what that is. Why do we have the tower here for Taurus? Talk to me about the tower. Why do we have the tower? Why do we have the tower here? The Page of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, King of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like there's, man, it just feels like a lot of people here. Why do I have the Seven of Cups? What is all of this Seven of Cups all about, please? What is this? Yeah. Yeah, I see somebody definitely, you and this person are going to reconnect, all right? You have the Nine of Swords under there. This could be the way that you're feeling right now, but please believe me. You know, there will be better readings to come. I'm just not the type of reader that's going to sit here and lie to you every day and say that everything's going to be marvelous when the energy is, you know, not presenting itself that way. We need these moments to create better times in our life. This is where strength comes from, the challenges, you know, so just feel it out. I know that you're going to be okay because you're a Taurus, but this is what I see happening. The Tower moment has a lot to do with you know, this person constantly thinking about you, right? So a lot of hesitancy, not any action, but just thinking. So then I feel like they finally actually decide to come forward, all right? Then I see travel, all right? So either you're meeting up with this person, they're linking up with you, but I feel like you're on your way to them in some way, okay? And I feel like they're going to give you what you're asking for. Right now, it's very complex, but everything's happening the way that it's supposed to. All right, so that's what I have for you. I want to thank you so much for watching. To book your private session, all of that info is below. Take care.